Hello, John Crockett here at Weftech 2014, talking to Eric Seda. He is with Rexa. How you doing, Eric? Not bad. How's the show going for you? It's going well. It's great to be here. So tell us about Rexa, what you guys do, and uh, and what's your story? Well, Rexa's been around for a while. It's a 100% American-made product, and it was originally designed to be the actuator of choice on the most demanding process control applications inside of the power and oil and gas industries. And so that's what we've been doing for most of our history is focus in that market and where Rexa had a great reputation for both being a reliable product and an accurate one. Over the course of time, some of our actuators ended up in water and wastewater accounts without any efforts by our sales team to promote that. And it sold itself basically into this market. And so finally, in the last few years, we decided it was about time that we started looking into this market with Rexa, giving it a lot of the attention that we feel it deserves into this market to do one thing, to solve headaches related to actuators on valves and gates inside the water and wastewater industry. It was envisioned and was designed to be the actuator you turn to for the most demanding applications. And while we always looked at this industry as being overkill for Rexa, there are those certain valve or gate applications, the ones that you need to modulate to some degree, the ones where you need reliability, that collection system gate in the middle of a rainstorm, it better move. Maybe it doesn't modulate, but it's critical to your high flow management that that actuator is dependable. Those are the applications we're pushing for with this product. 70 to 90% of all valve or gate applications out there, we're overkill for. We'll be the first ones to tell you to use you know your electric multi-turn or quarter turn actuators they're the standard of the industry and we'll encourage our customers to go towards those actuators on those applications that they can handle it's the difficult ones the demanding ones the modulating ones that we see the value message for this and it's really been growing fast this is a typical uh, representation of what Rexa does in the water and wastewater industry. This is basically what will go on something like an aeration airflow control valve. Typically you'll have a small butterfly valve and this would be the package that we would supply. Rexa comes as basically two components. It comes as the muscle, which is the actuator that goes on top of the valve, and the brains, which is a separate control enclosure. And they're both connected only by uh, electrical cables. There's no hydraulic lines or hydraulic connections at all. Now, the muscle can be broken down on a couple of components itself as well. There is the hydraulic cylinder, which is a rotary cylinder in this case, as well as a power module, which is the motor and pumping system that we use. And all we're doing with this power module is we're transferring fluid from one end of a double acting cylinder to the other. But because we do so with our patented hydraulic circuit, our flow match valve, without any volume differentials, that's what's eliminated the active reservoir system and other hydraulic actuators. And so all this little motor and pumping system does is it just transfers fluid all day long back and forth in that hydraulic cylinder. We are using, in this particular model, a brushless DC stepper motor. And so that motor is rated for continuous, 100% modulating duty cycle. Very different than, let's say, induction motors that you will typically see in the water and wastewater industry, which have duty cycle limitations. These stepper motors also only run off of 120 VACS standard. And they're only chewing up that amount of power when we're making a position change. Right now, this unit's only drawing about 50 watts of energy. The way this operates is we're always monitoring feedback off of the unit and we're comparing that to uh, incoming control signal, typically a 4 to 20 milliamp control signal. And as I turn this unit on, as soon as I give it a control signal change, I get real valve movement. What we can do with this actuator that electric actuators can't do is continuous modulation. As fast as I can change my control signal, I will get real-time valve response valve movement. That is because we are using, in this case, a stepper motor and in larger sizes, servo motors. So you're never going to burn a motor out. You're never going to have a fear of needing to modulate. That's not the type of duty cycle that you'll see in the water and wastewater industry, but it is what we've been doing in the power and oil and gas industry all of these years. But what we really specialize in is fine position changes, moving a butterfly disc so accurately and finitely that it can really promote accurate flow control. And that's what we are all about on a modulating application. We also do a lot of open close applications like some of those gates and collection systems purely on our reliability value message. But whether or not you need reliability or accuracy, this is designed to give you that over a long period of time. And so what do you what do you envision for Weftech 2015? A, a larger place, more technology? What, what's the latest thing you guys are working on to roll out for next year? 
Well, we have a new electronics that's in development right now. It's basically an upgrade every, let's say, 10 years or so. You need to look at your electronics package, and we have one that's in the works. But otherwise, the core, the product uh, design, uh, there are no plans at the moment to improve it or change it. Well, we're always making improvements, but we're not going to do any major overhaul. Uh, but we do continuously try to add new features and benefits to the actuators. For instance, we have these quick disconnect cables that eliminate the need for conduit entries uh, to be done in conduit work to be done by contractors in the field. We can still run our wires through conduit, but the new quick connect cables, they're molded cables, they're indoor, outdoor rated, they're submersible rated. They've been a great feature that we've added in recent years. They've been accepted in the industry. So we're always to some extent making improvements such as that. But as far as new product development, just an electronics overhaul that is needed to stay up with current technology. Um, as far as WEFTEC, we love going to Chicago and New Orleans, and we like that it goes back and forth between those cities. They're two of my favorite cities in the country. And so uh, we're looking forward to going back and forth the next few years. Nice to have the rotation. Absolutely. Not Absolutely. just one place every well, time. maybe one of these days you guys can come on up to Boston. So, Especially this time of year. Absolutely. Catch a football time game. Of the year, catch football. If the Red Sox, unfortunately, were in the playoffs, it would be a lot more fun up there. But there's always next year. Always next year. So tell me how many... Play, like, tell me some of the places that, that that your actuators are. Like, are they in some hydraulic dams? Are they in just municipalities? Where, where are they exactly? In the power industry, uh, we were mostly sold into the coal-fired power industry. A lot of turbine controls, a lot of uh, startup steam valves, a lot of air handling equipment. In the pipeline industry, it's been on pressure and flow control valves and uh, pump control valves in the liquid pipeline industry in North America. Uh, those are our two biggest markets, and that's where most of our installed base is. And as I said, in wastewater, those are our most common applications that are listed behind us, whether or not you're talking about in collections or in different stages of the treatment process in a wastewater plant, uh, any rotary or linear application. Can, can you go through that? Can you just kind of go through them? Not a problem. So on collection systems gates, you're typically talking about cast iron sluice gates, let's say, in a collection system that are used, particularly in a combined source system, to manage water uh, during high flow events. And all municipalities now are trying to reduce their allowable discharges uh, of co uh, combined sewer um, overflows. And a lot of people are trying to get aggressive with their approach to high flow management, storing that storm water somewhere. Is it in a structure? Is it in the collection system itself? Well, it's the management of that flow upstream of the plant in your collection system where actuators come into play. You need to be able to move gates, typically, that are going to be able to direct wastewater or hold wastewater within certain parts of your collection system. That's so, where we give the reliability of this product. Awesome. Incredibly informational. Thank you so much for, for chatting with us here. John Crockett here talking with Eric. And Eric, uh, where can we find out some more information online? You can go to uh, rexa.com. We just redid our website, and we're putting a lot more industry-related content in there. So it's not just the water and wastewater uh, that you may be interested in if you're interested in other industries as well. All that info is there. Uh, all of our contact information is there as well. My contact information is up there. And uh, you can find us on the web. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Eric. John Crockett here. Eric signing off here at WEFTEC 2014.